Tony, how's the squad looking fitness wise coming out the back of three very demanding matches? Good, yeah, yeah, it was definitely two, three really, three games where we proper get tested, yeah, and also we, obviously Liam Donnelly coming out, Rory McKenzie, they've been up there, and, uh, but no, the rest, of, the rest of it were looking okay, we're looking quite, Callum Waters has got a wee uh, uh, strain as well, but, you know, on the whole, in general, we're looking well, getting into the game Saturday. Are we likely to see any squad rotation over at the cup match, or is it a case of going with that group of players that have been dressed recently? No, I think it's very important. Every game we look at, we analyse the opposition, and we look at what we've got in our squad, and we see who's best to deploy to get the results. So if, if there's any changes to the team, they'll be made to improve the team in terms of the opposition that we're playing, and the, the best person in the right position to play against them for a, a style of play that we want, that we think will win the match. I mean, after the trip to Hamden, the players are going to see the value of a good cup run. Does that make the team talk a wee bit easier Saturday afternoon? Aye, I think just saying to the press guys up there, it, it's, you know, it's because it's so recent, the boys have had a taste of that. You know, and some of them hadn't been, had that Hamden experience before, so obviously they're itching to get back. And this is coming for them, so it, is, it does help as a motivational tool. You know, they've experienced that. They want to go on further. You know, we were so close, it was a narrow defeat. You know, that we felt our performance maybe merited is getting a wee bit further in the game and possibly taking it to penalties or whatever. But uh, they're just desperate to get back, you know, so tomorrow's the start of that. But we need to, of course, you want to talk about that, but the most important thing is Dumbarton. You know, you can't disrespect Dumbarton, they're a good side. You know, sitting top of their own league by four points. Uh, and Stevie Farrell's doing a great job there. So we must look at this game and treat it with utmost respect because that's the next hurdle in our way to get to Hamden. You mentioned that they're Dumbarton, poor league opposition, but absolutely flying at the top of the division. Yeah, yeah, and on merit, you know, we've watched a lot of their games, we've all been to see them as a staff, you know, so we're taking them really serious, you know, there, there certainly won't be any of that coming from us, you know, they're, they're a very well organised team, and as I say, Stevie Farrell's doing a good job with Big Frank there as well, uh, I see they've just got a contract extension based on the work that they've done, so sitting four points clear of your own league, you know, that, that, gets you into a winning habit, you know, they're used to winning games, so we've got an opposition here that are coming that are used to winning, you know, they're very well organised, so they'll be a tough nut to crack, so we'll need to be our best and we'll need to make sure the boys are more motivated than them to get through the tie and get to the next round, but we're definitely not treating this game light, it's a difficult game that we'll need to be our best.